Drummers Against Imply Timekeeping, I just want to share with you uh, kind of an observation uh, that has come on me since I've, you know, practicing things. The most important thing, or the weirdest thing about doing this series was the realization of how weak my left hand really is when you begin to designate certain uh, parts for the left side. And uh, the more complex the rhythms come out with the left hand being utilized, um, the more it just stares at you how many years are wasted uh, because we don't want to venture from what we are normally playing in our mechanics over to the left side. And hopefully a lot of the videos that I have done have been done through a process of failure, if you will. That it didn't work, but this seems to work. You know, something like that. Trial and error uh, uh, and, and eliminating what definitely is out, uh, if this makes sense. So that's why I, I, when I was playing lots of top 40 gigs or, you know, show type things, uh, you'd get a little lazy. And in that lazy moment is when you start uh, reutilizing that left more because you're dropping all the your, your guard from your teaching. And we've all been taught right side, assuming we're right-handed, uh, and all the rhythms. So all I'm saying is look at my videos. The catalog is, is pretty extensive with utilization of the left hand as best I can. I definitely think I, I am not up to the technical level that maybe I am portraying on the camera. I wish I was maybe even more perfect. I can only make it as well as I can to show you. But hopefully you get the point that uh, just designating the left side to more of the timekeeping things that you would do on the right, uh, it for some reason takes on all positive things in my case, no question. And I've been at it for 40, I'm in my 47th year of constantly uh, trying to fix my flaws, you know. So uh, I, I may never get there, but the, the point is the exercises that you see me being put forth to you have a, have a de definite purpose in mind to improve you right away, right away. And that's why I always want you to test it if you have a studio at home of what I'm showing you. Now, a lot of it is not easy, and it's only going to get harder once I get this new hi-hat. Uh, the remote is coming. So, uh, my particular site, I'm not good at teaching the basics. I think other people are doing it just fantastic. My thing is to uh, utilize how to branch out. And I'm not talking about playing 5 16th with my left foot or, uh, you know, 8, 9, 8, 8, 19 with my right foot, odd times putting them together. These are applicable tracking drum ideas. All right, so if you have any questions, feel free always to ask me on twitter.com slash drummers against and facebook.com slash drummers against implied timekeeping. Um, click on like, and I'm also uh, with this website. I put this together, uh, http a colon forward slash forward slash rdalbus 57wixcom forward slash D-A-I-T-K. The only reason being I am going to be selling t-shirts at some point, but it's also to find out who I am as a player and a little of my background in drums. So check that out. And uh, thanks so much. For those of you coming in, I ask you to subscribe to my channel. Your subscription is your way to keep me going, to come up with new and innovative ideas to help you along, especially with my views regarding the specifics of open-handed play. Uh, and hopefully you'll like the technical aspect to it. So good luck to you, and uh, thank you for subscribing. Uh, I appreciate it. And those of you who've stayed with me, thank you very much. It inspires me to continue and to try new things. So here we go. New remote hi-hat coming. I'll make it very, very uh, intriguing for you. Take care.